Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. If it's your first time come across this channel, please consider subscribing. Don't forget to hit that notification bell because it's always very important when you upload a new video, you'll always be notified. I have a very view, view concern and actually it's not maybe a concern. I, I got very many people asking me about this and someone came in my inbox and asked me a question, you know, and this is how it goes. Hello, hello mix. Thank you so much for delivering that service to us. I appreciate it for that. Uh, in my company, I was told I'm going to receive what you call a local leave because the tickets are very expensive for me to go back in my country. What can I do? And by the way, what is the difference between the local leave and the annual leave? That was the question. By the way, did you know the difference between the local leave and the annual leave? This goes, for example, we are normally looking at people who are working in security, people working in cleaning departments, people who are working in um, uh, uh, cleaners, people are working in any, any, any where you are working. It will depend. But let me talk about what you call security companies. Definitely. Apparently, what is happening, that companies are claiming that the tickets are very expensive. Going to particular regions of the world or going to particular continents of the world. For example, we talk about people in Africa. I think the tickets must be very expensive right now. All right? I believe that. So, if you've gone to see the prices of the tickets either on Qatar, uh, web, Qatar Airways website or Ethiopian Airway uh, website or even any other airliner or even airline, you'll see the difference. Remember, the tickets have been increasing on from the time of the pandemic. That is from 2019 when we had the global pandemic. The tickets prices kept on, kept on uh, giving a little bit of rise in one or the other, depending on how long you're going to travel and depending on which kind of region that you're going to travel to. I admit that one is very true. All right, it's very true. At least you will agree with me, you, it's also true. But remember, some of the scenarios that really happen is that when we come to these countries, we normally sign what we call contract. And normally, how does it sign? Is that we sign a contract whereby they would say you will get vacation every after two years, right? I think most of you understand that that most of the vacations are under after two years. But really, if someone you just come so much to interpret or to understand what it means, it's not the case. Because remember, every one year you are supposed to get an annual leave. You, every annual you are supposed to get what you call an annual leave of twenty one days. Right? So, if one year you get 21 days, another year you get 21 days, then at the end of two years, you get 42. That's what companies are doing. For example, you look at security companies. So, meaning that you cannot go until it goes to fast, until it goes to, until you complete the two years to get your, what you call your vacation. But remember, what we call an annual leave for the 21 days, if you are to go every after year for 21 days, it means you are going to pay for your ticket. And that is what companies are supposed to do. That every after one year you are given 21 days. If you don't go for if you don't go, if you don't go for those 21 days, then probably you will sum up the total total of year. After two years, then you go, they will give you ticket and vacation to go up. But remember, it is under what you call the labor law. Each employee, each employee is supposed to get an annual leave of 21 days every year. So in those 21 days, you have to buy for your own ticket. You will get paid the salary, but you have to buy your own tickets. What happens to some companies is that they will give you those 21 days. If you want to go, they will still give you those 21 days and say, you can go. There is no problem. But remember, for that one, you have to buy for your own ticket. You have, buy, you have to buy your own ticket, but you will still be paid what you call your salary for that case. To some companies, they will definitely give you a notification. They will send you an, a message or email, uh, depending on which kind of uh, form of, uh, of delivering information to you, that please sir, or please so and so number, that it, uh, uh, employment number this, your vacation will be on this. Please reply back to us, either we push it or we cancel it. So it will be again, it will be about two. All right? But what is surprising right now is that even after two years, some companies don't want to give vacation. And yet you are entitled. Remember, after two years, you're supposed to be given vacation 
42, let's say for example, for some good companies, they will even give you 50 days. Or they will even give you more days, depending on how long you have worked with that company. Alright? Because at that time, it believes you are part of, it's part of what you call employees' welfare. Alright? So, meaning that you are supposed to be given what you call vacation, you are supposed to be given a two-way ticket. A ticket that takes you to your country and a ticket that will turn you to your workplace. That is what it's supposed to be. Despite of these other excuses some companies are giving, especially security companies or in other companies, or look at security companies giving excuses that the tickets are very expensive. So meaning that they are denying you your right to go, which is what you call in the contract. That every After two years, you are supposed to get a ticket to and from your country. So you are being denied under that right. But when you go back to the pretext of the, cont the contract, it is written that, that every after two days, every after two years, you're supposed to get a two-way ticket and you're supposed to get a new vacation and what you call, what you call uh, salary or what you call salary leave money. They will definitely give you uh, depending on your basic salary at one moment of time. So now what is happening? That some companies are thinking buying tickets for people is quite very expensive. So we should rather give them what you call local leave. So for the local leave, they will give you, let's say for example, they will give you 10 days to stay. Let's say for example in this company you've been working 30 days minus off. And remember, we are entitled to get day off every week. That is part of the labor law in Qatar labor We are entitled to get every week a day off. But this time you are not given what you call a day off. You work 30 days. So when you sign that you are going to get local leave, that means to some companies they are not going to give you a ticket. Because some companies count a physical ticket, not money. So meaning that for that local leave, they will give you 10 days to rest. They might give you basic salary if you're real, uh, if, if that is all. Or they may, not even, they may even give you half of that basic salary for you to stay. Because remember, they will give you a few days, like 10 days. Some they will give you even 14 days. So, but remember, if they give you 10 days of local leave, then remember that you will also be supposed to go off every week so that means a total of four days so they will add to be 14 days so they will give you a total of what you call 14 days local leave all right so all those will be unpaid days but remember you've not gone and you're not going to get that, that ticket money you've not seen your family in one way or the other so that is what exactly is happening so you either decide to go or take the local leave the local leave you will stay here they will not give you a ticket. They will give you part of the basic salary. If you are so lucky, they will give you all the basic salary, which is 1000 for you to stay. But you will stay here for 14 days. You will not work. But remember, that will be cancelled out of your books that your vacation was done or you went for your vacation in one way or the other. That is what is going to happen. But a little bit, what is puzzling, what is, what is on the other side, is that companies are supposed to give us a ticket after two years. Unless otherwise you opt for what we call local leave in one way or the To some companies, people have been going out. People have been provided with, with the tickets to one floor. Despite of the fact that the tickets are very expensive and we are in the COVID era, the companies are being uh, uh, giving employees their tickets to go, uh, to go and return to one floor. But imagine my company does not give you a ticket, he gives you only a, a one-way ticket. Out of that one-way ticket, it will still cut part of your, your, your leave settlement money to top up that ticket to go to your country. Then on the return, they are saying they do not have a return ticket. You pay up your return ticket, which is quite not, not, not really fair. All right? So, to some people who are out there, you definitely know. You either take your vacation or you take your leave, or you, or you take your local leave, according to what to what your company is telling you. But you must be very calculative, and again, you must know what I'm taking. You must ask questions before you agree to take a local leave, unless you you also being driven, you ask. And you should ask your entitlement before you ask before you ask for local leave. Don't get paper and just sign anyhow, which is not right. Remember, it's you are every after two years you are entitled to a ticket to and for your country, and you're entitled to pay basic salaries, uh, basic leave salary at that time to take you back to your country and you've already completed completed with that company two years so you're entitled to go to rest 
So hope I'm trying to, 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 to let you know what happens. So meaning that if you think you're going to get local leave and they give you ticket money, some companies are not going to, for example, security company, they will not give you that money. That money for local leave for the ticket, they only calculate what you call a physical ticket. So meaning that if you take a local, tea, a local leave, you are not entitled to ticket. You may be to en entitled to what you call basic salary which you're supposed to have. And what basic salary? They only maybe they only, only pay you for what you call 10 days. Because if the company gives you 14 days local leave, it will only pay for 10 days. The four days are not paid. Or it will say, we are only paying for four days. The 10 days are not paid. So meaning that it's uh, definitely all in that round of it all. Thank you so much for coming back to the show. Hope I've tried to share something for you. Hope I've tried to let you know. Your rights in the labor law. As the labor law, we can try to do our job. Really. Remember, it makes for many situation. If it's your first time to come across this channel, please consider subscribing to this channel. Uh, by the way, if it's your first time to come across this channel, yes, it makes for the next question. See you again in the next video as we try to see more updates and more information.